Far away in a cursed land, something waits for you in the Story Master's Tales. School of Wizards of Story Master's Tales. My name is Professor Isabor, and it's so nice to see you all back. Ha <laughs> ha, it's been. This is our second week, second quest, so things have changed a little bit. Oh, yes, they have. We have some new things which I hope will speed things along a little bit and make you far more successful in your endeavors. Well, it's so nice to see so many of you back. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, right, don't forget to share, invite, tell everyone to come as quick as you can. Come on, I'm waiting, come on, share, invite, and share, invite, share, invite. And then you might have noticed we have other ways to see it, so if things fall out for you, uh, not in the family, I'm sure that won't be the case, but if things fall out and you can't communicate, there are different ones. Look at the top here, with there's loads of different ways you can go. You can watch one and then communicate with another. Okay, so there's no excuse. Right, so the first thing we have is... Oh, oh, by the way, i better introduce you to Master Gibbs. Hello, Master Gibbs. Yes, very nice. Okay, well, yes, right. Well, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Never mind, he's very helpful here. Now, Master Gibbs, he does help us here in the School of Wizards, uh, in the Wiz Wizards Tower. Um, and he may help you today, and uh, he's going to be opening uh, the Portal of Power. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in a moment. Um, but before we start, I might tell you about the voice that you hear. Now, the voice that you hear um, over the ether, uh, every time we open uh, the portal and we go to a new place, is Starmore. Now, Starmore, he's a wizard from another time, and uh, he, he's kind of dead, but not really. Um, his spirit lives on, and you'll hear his voice uh, from time to time. Okay, right, so that is him. That is Gibbs. I am Isamore. I need to know about you. Okay, tell me who you are. Um, do you have a new wizard name? Do you have a pirate name? I believe we are doing pirates today. Uh, do you have um, something magical you want to tell me? That's good. Do you tell me, uh, communicate, and I'll have a look later on. Okay, now, uh, oh yes, okay, let's have a look at the portal of power. Now these here are the Astral Curtains. It will create a portal to places upon your quest. So, I'm not quite sure where it's going to take you, but I'm hoping that you'll find some information there wherever you go. Now, Master Gibbs, he will be opening it for you, and hopefully he'll be shutting it in time before any beasties come here to uh, maybe eat you. But I promise you'll be quite safe there at home. Um, now, shall I have a little peek? Let's have a little look. Um, oh, oh, goodness me, look at this. What is it? Right, we're not going there yet, we're not going there yet. All right, well, when we do, it's going to be very exciting. So hold on to your hats if you're wearing hats. Hold on to your brooms if you've got brooms. And hold on to your loved ones if you're feeling a little bit scared. But don't be scared, we'll all be fine. Okay, so we need to have a hero. And I think we are going to be choosing a pirate as a hero. Aha! So let me, um, well, I shall now transform myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's better. Oh, I do like the hat. Oh, look, look at this very fine clothing. Oh, yeah, look, look at the red interior. And look who it is here. It's Ruby the Red Feathers. Now, Ruby the Red Feathers was named, of course, by the um the Wednesday Club, which is which, which, tomorrow. Okay, it's good tomorrow. He wasn't named tomorrow for last week. He is named last week for today. Okay, so if that all makes sense. So do talk, join us tomorrow as well, where we'll be getting ready for another adventure. But at the moment, we're getting ready for this adventure right here. But I'm sure there's something I need to... Ah, hello! Oh, hey, Sebastian here. I've got some important news for you, Professor. Professor, Professor, Professor. I've got the people. They want to have a little shout-out. Is that okay? Oh, uh, take it, take it, take it! Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so, this is Sebastian, isn't it? Right, now i got some uh, names that are actually appearing as I speak. Uh, we have, uh, let's have a little look here. 
We have Amber, the Ice Witch. Hello, Amber. We have Mystic Blue Wing. Is that such a person or your name in the parrot there? He's got a name, thank you. Lisa, the Mystic, and Daniel the Brave. Uh, we have, oh, Mace the Wise. Mace the Wise, now I've got also Trinity Bevan, Brandon Styles, Eva Marsden, M Malachi. Malachi and Amelia Robinson, Beatrix of York, Henry and Joy. Uh, oh, this is the best, my dear. This is a uh, Jack's Bauer. Jack's Bauer. He like sounds like an adventurer, doesn't he? Okay, uh, we have um, uh, yes, and and Finn and Evie, of course, from Ipswich. Okay, a very fine town. Now, any any more Jamarushless? Okay, that's lovely. Um. Uh, Mystic Eve. Oh, that isn't your name, Paula. Okay. I like the name, though. I think we should call you Mystic Blue Wing. I think it'd be lovely. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, now, I am, of course, relying on all of you to help me today. Okay, so, um, hello, by the way. I can see you're sitting down there. Shouldn't be leaning like that against that wall. You never know what might happen. It might be just freshly painted. Oh, it might be crumbling all mouldy. That's even worse. Okay, now, we need a quest. Something to do. Something to take you upon. Now, I do have a quest. I have some down here. It's a quest book. It's a very large book. Oh, goodness me. Look, I almost took my beard off there. Now, this quest book has something very special just for you. And I'm going to need... Hello, Willow. Willow's here. Oh, hello, Willow. Love to see you as well. Hi. Hello. Oh, do you remember the, the parrot? Okay, that's good. Now, I'll have to put my serious voice on here. Listen up! 4,000 years ago, there was a great big battle. Not with Pirate Fletcher, Lindsay. Pirate, it was with the forces of good and evil. Now, on the good side were the good fae, fairies, and the humans. That's us. And you, I hope. Now, on the bad side was the Shadow King. Now, the Shadow King is a very old and ancient evil fae. What is a fae, you ask? Well, you may know them as fairies. Now, fairies aren't all the nice little ones that steal teeth in the middle of the night and give you money. No, we have elves, pixies, gnomes, or those kind of creatures. But you also have the Dark Fae. And the Dark Fae it is those that you must be a little bit afraid of. Now, the dark fae, such as goblins, trolls, ogres, and you know that kind of nasty thing that might go bump in the middle of the night. Now, the Shadow King was in control of them, and he had a great big battle, but the humans won! Hurrah! Okay, and the elves, hurrah! Okay, but it is believed the Shadow King is coming back. He's been heard! Around the forest, around the weirding wood. And I had, what, Brandon says, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, indeed, Brandon, okay, I know, yes, indeed. So I need you to go out into the woodland through our portal of power and find the Shadow King. I'll work out a way with my help and your help and everyone amongst us to try and destroy this great evil. I trust you all. Are you up for this? Say, ah, if you are up for this challenge. Or you could type it as well. Or if you're up for the challenge. Oh, you're up for the challenge. Oh, well, you want some money, I suppose. Now, because we are being a bit piratey, we do have some gold in a tiny little treasure chest. Look at this tiny little treasure chest. Tiny, teeny, weeny, little one. Now, I don't see any R's. Come on, R, R, R. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Jade. A oh, merry, beautiful R and a jam from R as well. And Brandon was started the R off, actually. He did. Now, in here. It's a cute parrot, isn't it? It's a macaw, by the way. It's a macaw. Um, it doesn't fly very much. He seems to be sitting there quite happily. You got it right there? Yes? Good. He's fine. Now, I have in here 50 gold coins. 50. Count them. Oh, it dropped one. 49. 50 now. Okay, now, what I need to do, we need to send you an adventure. So, let's see what is through the portal of power. Gibbs, are you ready? Go for it. An old lady wearing brightly colored silks crosses your path and stops you in your tracks. 
She thrusts her hand towards you and asks, Gold coin for your future? What will you do? Pay one gold coin for your palm reading? Ask what else she has for sale? Dismiss her and walk on? Or pay her five gold coins for advice? Well, what do you want to do? Seems like a lovely old lady, doesn't she? I can't imagine anything could possibly go wrong if we talk her. So, do we want to pay her two gold coins for a palm reading? Do we want to pay her uh, five gold coins? Well, I can't remember what it was, now for something else? Or palm reading, says Helen. Uh, palm reading. We do have, you want to spend your money already, do we? Should we ask for advice? Or should we just miss her and just walk away? What do you think? Pay one, pay one, okay, pay one gold coin for palm reading. Okay, well, let's see, let's see this. Fight her? I don't think that's one of the options, I know. Well, she's a little old, she's a little old lady, and we're fa very vicious pirates, of course. Okay, I, palm reading, I think the, uh, uh Lolita Carlet, uh, Ruby says pay five. Okay. Oh, we. Could we see what else she has for sale? Should we see what else she has for sale? It's a very good idea, Robbie. Maybe we should do that first. Okay. I'm going to see what else she has for sale before you do Right, okay. Hello? Hello? Where's she gone? She disappeared. Hello, old lady. Old lady. Now, I do believe we, uh, we would like to know what else we have for sale. What do you have for sale? Lucky charm! Lucky charm! Oh! Do you want a lucky charm? It's only five gold coins if you want it. Should we buy a lucky charm off her? Okay, well, I'm just gonna come back over here. Alright. Now. Should we buy a lucky charm? Should we buy a lucky charm and have our palm read? What should we do? Yes, okay. You're very... Oh, Paul is very sceptical of her. Okay, no thanks. Yes, says Helen. Yes, says he Sarah. Okay. No, uh, no, says Isaac. No, you, you don't trust her. I don't trust her one bit, says Isaac. No, 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 no. Right, okay, so, yes, okay, right. Yes to both, okay. We are already spending seven gold coins. Now, these larger ones are worth three. So we need one of those and, and one of those over there. Okay, now let's go back and see. Let's have a little look. Hello, old lady. Old lady. Hello, where's she gone? Don't be afraid, I'm very friendly. I've got a lovely group of people through here. And all we want to do is buy a lucky charm. Is that okay? All right, okay, there we go. Oh, oh. I have it. Okay, let's let's bring it back over here. Let's have a little look. What we got? Right. Oh, look at this. Isn't that charming? It's a. It seems to be made of silver. Okay. Uh, oh, it opens up. It opens. It's got a little catch there. Can you see? It opens. Now, okay. Now, should I try this on? Do you do you think we should try this on? Or should we leave it? Just to the side a little bit in case it's not lucky. Try on or leave? Try on or leave? What do we think? Should we try it on? Yes, yes, okay, Tom says try it on. Okay, try it on. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, okay, alright, well, Helen says yes, try, try it on. Okay, well, I better have to remove my hat for this. There we are. Okay, ah, uh, let's try it on. Ooh. Oh, oh, I can barely get it over my beard. Oh, I've now got it stuck on my beard. Oh, this is very lucky. Oh, there we go. I think I've got it on now. Oh, 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 oh. Do you know, I do feel a little bit luckier. Just a little bit luckier. Now, let's get our palm ready. Okay, now let's palm reading. Palm reading, old lady. Palm reading. You want your palm read, dearie? Of course, of course. Oh, thank you for the colors. Oh, let me look 
with your hands. Hold your hands out. Ah, curious. Curious. A little line here, the little line. This is your line of fortune. And I can tell that you are going to be lucky in money. Mm, yes, that's good to have in life. Yes, lucky money. And look at this line here. This is your life line. Now the lifeline, it looks a little bit cloudy at the moment, a little bit, almost it's like there's a, a shadow cast upon it. Oh dear. But I can see at the end there is something. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. And it is a light that you must use. The light of your combined energies that will destroy the darkness that is crossing your lifeline at the moment. Oh, by the way, you're also going to be the giant owl. <laughs> Bye. Oh, okay. Right. Well, that's very nice of her. So, um, very dark. Well, that makes sense. The Shadow King things are going to be very dark around here. And there's light at the end of the tunnel. What could that possibly mean? How odd. How odd indeed. Okay, well, maybe that makes sense to you. Uh, maybe you should write things down so that we can remember for later on. Okay, now, uh, I think we're ready for the next part of the quest, don't you think? Okay, Gibbs, can you open the portal of power, please? Portal of power. Thank you. Your nose senses this lumbering creature long before your eyes do. Under a stone bridge on the woodland path is a troll. You don't know if it has seen you yet, but it certainly will if you try and cross too loudly. So, will you try and cross the bridge quietly? Fight the troll? Try and befriend the troll? Or leave very quietly in the other direction? Well, uh... I, Isaac says that we are victorious already. I'm, I quite agree. I like that optimism, Isaac. Um, but um, we're not quite there yet. We've only gone through, two, well, we haven't gone through twice yet. So there's a troll. Their trolls are, well, they are normally evil fae. They are normally corrupted and very strange. But you may know that trolls, of course, do live under bridges. Now we could try and befriend it, okay? We could. But how are we going to do that now? The Shadow King, I'm hoping, has not already got his claws into this poor creature. So, Luby wants to leave. L Luby, well, we have been brought here by the portal. And maybe that's for some reason. Now, Brandon says make friends. Now, Brandon, that is true. How do you make friends with something? Especially something that's so large as a troll. Okay, what would a troll like, do we think? What are trolls like? Friendship is magic. Oh, what a lovely idea. Okay, so, uh, Mary, uh, befriend. Yes, but how can we befriend it? What can we do? What can we do? Give the troll a cuddle. Thank you, Jam. Okay, well, we could. Um, it's quite big, though. And I have to say, it does smell as well. It just smells an off. Talk to him. Talk to him. Okay, right, so, are trolls interested in gold? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so, uh, food. Food, okay, everything else. I don't know if I've got any food. Uh, I know this is, this is a strange place. It's fight, okay. I don't know, it's a troll. Trolls are very strong, Helen. Fight. Okay, what with? What would we going to fight with? We don't even have a sword. Um, any other ideas? Jack says fight, Helen says fight, Nikki says fight. Um, I think we're going to get a right good thrashing. But, um, okay, right, I'll go and try, what, food? Food, 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 okay, right, food. Let's see what I've got that I can feed him. Okay, now, uh, let's have a little look here. I've got, um, I've got a candle over here. I do have an old candle. There we go, let's see. Now, I've got an old candle right here. Now, I don't know whether trolls like to eat candles. Throw some meat. Don't have any meat. Um, I, I can throw the parrot. R it's okay, Ruby. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Okay, let's go and see. Let's go and see. Uh, 
Hello. Oh, oh, you are big, aren't you? You're very large. Um, I have. Do you, do you like? Do you like candles? Do you? Do you like the? He does. I think. I think he does. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the candle down here. I'm gonna put it down there. Okay. Do you like that? Can I stroke you? Can I stroke you on the head? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you like that? Yeah, I'm gonna give a cuddle there. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, go down. There we are. Bless him. Oh, bless him. He's lovely. Well, I, I think you have made friends with a troll. Okay, well done. Well done. Well, I didn't like the candle, Paula. It wasn't a light. Okay, good. Now, I think we're almost ready. Oh, well, you might have noticed that this place we happen to be in at the moment is a little bit different to the rest of the Wizard's Tower. I'll tell you why, because this, this is the tavern area. Now in the tavern area, we do open it occasionally to the public. When I say the public, I mean troll traders and maybe um, a few other people. Now, I notice over there in the other corner is an old friend of mine. Now he's a friend of ours, he's, he's a little odd, he's a little bit piratey, but he's also a trader. Okay, so I'm going to see, because we have a little bit of money left, whether we could use this trader for good. Okay, let's, let's see, let's see. My name is John Swede, trader to royalty, wizards and seafaring, independent sailors. Have we met before? Um, I may have some useful items for you, matey. Want to see them, or are you here for something else? Do you buy or sell something with John? Gamble with John with five of your gold coins? Attack John Swede, or try and ignore this man? Dude, I can't stay around here waiting all day. Goodness me. What? Oh, dude. John Street's name and, uh, well, I'm here for trading if you want. <laughs> what? You want to attack me? You want to try to attack me, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Pirate needs a pirate sword. Well, I do a sword here. I do I I'll tell you what I've got, let me tell you what I've got, eh? I know you're keen, I know you're keen. Well, I see what you buy, you're a very wise word, Brandon. Right now, I haven't have it here. First thing, now this here is Elven Brew. Elven Brew, yes indeed, Elven Brew. Now, what that'll do, it'll make one of your spells, if you have spells, because I think some of your wizards, ten times more powerful. Or if you have a magical item, that will make that ten times more powerful. Good, eh? Oh, Jacks, I'm gambling. I do have some dice here if you like a bit of gambling, Jacks. Second thing I've got. This here is a love potion. It's a love potion. So this is number nine. Love potion number nine, if you want to be that. Lovely. Now, that would cost you, uh, let's say, ten gold coins. Now, this one here will cost you... 15 gold coins. For I ain't got to the nicest fit yet. This here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'll think you're frustrated. Now, this here is called Mythful. Mythful. What? Oh, thank you very much. You've ever donated. Thank you very much. Now, what this is, it will protect us elven. Now, Elven chain, if you put it what you do, it make you glow with a power. And the glow will protect you against sword blows, hammer blows, claw blows, etc. all that kind of thing. Now, if I was in London, or Ipswich, that would cost you a hundred gold coins. But today, here at Daddy Roy, twenty gold coins. Twenty, uh, fifteen. 30, and that's 45. 45 gold's gonna hold on. Now, if you're having to buy them, 
I'm gonna tell you two things that I've heard in the streets, okay? Right, what we got in? Elven br not bro, bro, Elven bro. Right, great. Oh, oh that's right, go on there. Thank you, Hurley. Right, from the Yang, the land of YouTube. Now, R is last, Elven Brew is like Iron Brew. It'll make you strong as iron if you want. Now, what else? Buy that! She's meant to Hey! Well, that will do that in. Right, Jackson's gambling. I do have a dice here, Jax, actually. I do have a dice down here. I don't have a. Did I say sword? Did I say sword? I do have a sword down here. But is that of your price range, I'm afraid? <laughs> You're gonna have to use your brains, mate, you'll train. Right, now, do you wanna buy the whole lot? Do you wanna buy the whole lot of you? Yeah? Oh, thank you very much, Andrew, for a kind donation of you. Right, now. Iris locks my beard. Ain't it? It does that. Hey, look at that. I could tighten a little bow if I wanted. But I'm not today. Alright, I just tighten a knot there. There we go. Right, so. Any discount to buy? Any discount? You want a discount? Or right, I'll give you a discount. Do you know what? The whole lot for 40 gold coins. For Helen, I can read it, you know. You want to buy the lot and then tack me? I don't think so. I'll tell you what, if you do that, you'll have the whole of the Wizards Guild against you because I'm their mate. I'll bring them all kinds of special stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, Elven Brew. Okay, Brand Brandon says, by the lot, Brandon, I admire your style. I admire you, mate. Yeah, I do. Right, Brandon, you please. Says, right, right, I don't know what I'm pleasing. 40 gold, and you buy some gr I I'll buy the grog, mate. I'll buy the grog. Right, okay, 40 gold, he's in. 40 gold, you've got your little money here. Well, I'll count immediately. You've got enough, but I'm going to leave you five. Five gold left, right, here we go, a bit of that, a bit of this, right, but that's yours, that chain is yours, uh, that is yours, that potion, right, and then you've got this as well, Elven Brew, right, guys, yeah, well, now, I was going to tell you, the two bits of information, first, who here knows a farmer, any of the farmers here, now the farmers, they're not very happy at the minute, I'll tell you why. Birds. The birds. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Well, you got the lot, mate. You got the lot. Right now, the birds. The sparrows. The stones. The crows. They're eating all the crops. Farmers put them out. Next day, they're gone. Don't know why, but they're going. Now, there's two bad things there. Firstly, you won't have any food. No bread. Secondly, even worse, no ale. Even, oh dear, okay, no meat, no oil, we won't grow anything. I won't even be able to drink it and all that stuff. Now, second thing. Who here has had a nightmare? Who's had a nightmare, anyone? I've had the same nightmare for the last two weeks. Starts off a very nice dream. And then, through the darkness comes a face. Now, his face ain't nice. He's got no skin on it. And his eyes all hollow and sunken. And his jaw is all pulled out and distended. Ah! You know, he comes at me. Oh, thank you, Hayley, very much, Red Cod. Now, oh, it's not good at all. Now, whatever this is, I don't know. But mark my words, be careful out there. See that, boy? Walking through the dark woodlands, you reach an area that fizzes with an intangible energy. Through the night air, you see tiny bright lights floating towards you. As you stare at these orbs, you realize that they have faces. Choose now. Do you try and touch one? Try and talk to them? Follow them, or try and leave this area. Oh, 
was that? Yes, I will. Uh, yes, I know. Yes. Well, it might make my head explode. I really hope it doesn't, though. Uh, right, so. Uh, what should we do? What do you like to do? Should we go and uh, have a look at the lights then? Uh, now, as you know, Willow the Wisps, or Willow the Wisps, some say they are spirits of the dead. But some also say they're the purest type of fairy. Now, I do believe, of course, these are good fairies. So, how does that influence you? What should we do? Right, so. Oh, let's have a look down here. Follow them! Follow Jasmine! You think we should follow them? Follow! 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 Okay! Right, okay. Let's go and see. try and follow them. However, they seem to be going up in the air. I, I don't think I can follow them right in there. I'll step inside, shall I? Oh, it's tingly. Oh, it's very tingly. Oh, I can hear them. I can hear a little laughing. And this light, as I look up, it goes high up into the stars, into the night sky. I think they're trying to help us. I think they're trying to help us in a way. Now, makes sense to me. I think if we go in there again, we might be able to maybe take some of the energy. Now that energy, that good energy, that good fate energy could be put into here. Now, do you know what this is? This is a crystal ball. Now, some people use this to see into the future. Some people see into the past. Some see into the present. But what you can also do is use it as a power source. I'm going to go back in there. And I'm going to see if I can collect some of that good fey energy. Wish me luck. Now... Be very careful with this. Okay. I can feel it glowing already. Can you see? The ball is glowing. It's glowing. I think it's... Oh, it's getting more powerful. It's getting lighter. Goodness me. Okay, this is good. It, it feels like there's nothing in there at all. But look at the power. Okay, I'm going to take this back. Very good. Okay, let's, let's take that back. We have something now. We have something that maybe we could use to fight against the Shadow King. Get my hat straight, goodness me. <laughs> my head's a bit big for this, you see. Now, okay, that's very good news, isn't it? Ah, oh, <laughs> well, wonderful. Well, it is quite pretty as well. And they were very pretty as well. And hopefully very, very helpful. I'm just going to take my hat off for a minute. Because it's going to fall off. I don't, I don't want to look terribly silly, do I? Right, so, um, let's go through into the next room, shall we? I think things could get possibly a little dangerous here. I've just got a sense that it is going to go a little bit strange. It's got a young ones there, this could be a little scary. You find yourself at the entrance of a broken down old shack. Some alluring smell draws you inside, and before long, you are confronted with the hideous sight of the near blind witch of infamy, Baba Yaga. At the moment, she is not aware of your presence. Will you talk to her? Attack her quickly? Try and steal from the table in front of her? Or leave without getting noticed? I'm here to serve you and your dark powers. It would not be long until the poor humans are running to worship you. 
I smell there are children nearby. Are there children in there? Let me see. I can barely see. I can't see anything, but let's have a little look. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, oh. There are children here. I can smell them, and I sense they're around. So, what would you like to do, you people? Would you like to sneak up upon the evil? Oh, Kara! Kara, you want to sneak up? Yes, sneak up and take something! I am evil! Oh, Kara, you're quite a... Oh, Jack says attack! Oh, dear! Run away! Well, I wouldn't say no to running away. Maybe there's something you've already owned that you'd like to use. Anything that you have that you want to try against me? Any ideas? You have some things, I notice, where I can sense amongst you. This is not my hair. Look, I'm entirely bald. I have no hair. Okay, stranger things. Oh. Okay, well, talk to me. Teresa, what do you like to ask me, then? What do you like to ask? Dear little Baba Yaga. Love potion. Love potion. Oh, love potion. Oh, yes, you do have a love potion. Let's, let's talk. Again, it's beating. Oh, look at all of you in there. I adore you. You're lovely, lovely humans. How can I be of help? I don't do what came over me earlier. I was so nasty to you. Do forgive me, please. Is there anything I can do? Anything I can give you to help you upon your way? I don't know what that person is saying, huh? Okay, I'm cre- I'm not creepy! Oh, I'm so sorry, Kara. Okay, don't attack me, I have a knife. I do have a knife, and I have spells as well. Don't want something from my table, perhaps? Would like something- I have a special box here. Would like everything from my box? I have- I have a box of things here. Would you like to have the box? Would you like to have the po Where's my master? My master is all over the place. The Shadow King is in the darkest corners. Do I have some useful items? Okay, weapons. Helen, are you saying I'm creepy? Tell us where the Shadow King is. The Shadow King is everywhere, Isaac. Look into the corner. Turn off the lights, he is there. Look at the table. He's under the table as well, it's quite dark in there. Tell you what! I will give you this box. Hopefully, you'll find it useful. Okay, what's in the box? You will find out. I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why my hair's all messy? I can't imagine why. Okay, now I can put my hat on. Now, in this box, we have some very special items. Uh, let's have a look. And well done. She seems to be quite happy over there. She's, um, yeah, there we are. Oh, 
look! Okay, now, you have to have a wand! And look, we have a wand! I'm not quite sure what that is. I think it's made of blackthorn. That would mean it's very powerful. Now, you can use a wand for directing magical spells at people. Oh, could be useful. Okay, now, we also have... Oh! Ah, I know what this is. Now, this here is very special, because look, I don't know if you can see them, but it actually glows a little crystal on the end. Now, what this will do is actually detect magic. So, if you run it over something, you can see if it's magical or not. Okay, very useful. And the last thing, there's a little book in here. It's a book. Okay, let's have a little the book. I think that the box is very special, but uh, let's have a look down here at this. Uh, yay, yay, says Isaac indeed. Okay, now, in here, let's have a little look. It's, uh, it's entirely blank. It's blank. Everyone is entirely blank. Oh, well done. You got a blank book. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on, there's something in here. There's a drawing, some kind of scribble. Papa Yaga's clearly not very talented at the old art department, but what could this be? Let me hold it still for you. Now, what is... What do we think this is? Here. What does that look like to you? Any ideas? Does that look at it like anything interesting? What could it be? Any ideas, anyone? Now, personally, I think that possibly... The Shadow King! You think this looks like... The now this here, this is more like the Shadow King. Now I heard John Sweet say that he had nightmares. Nightmares of a, a, something with dark eyes and a long face. Now that sounds to me like a, a bird skull, doesn't it? Now if a bird skull and then we have, yes indeed a skull indeed. Okay, and then this here, well, maybe this, a bird, a duke. Okay, I think you might be right. It could be a duke. No, so not a duke, it could be a bird. Okay, duke. Maybe it's duke bird. We never know. Now, the bird now. I think we know, possibly, that is also from the trader's dream. Yes, okay, right. Let's put that away for the moment. So that could be connected to the Shadow King. Let's see where we go next. After this little break. A silver streak of grey darts past you. It pivots around, and you see it's a large hare. These creatures of the wild are known to be lucky and possess a link to the mystical world. So will you try and catch the hare, throw it some food, talk to it, or leave the creature alone? Okay, what do you want to do, a lovely little hair? Now, some people do say that hairs are magical. Now, I'm hoping this hair hasn't been taken over by the Shadow King. You thought it was a Shadow King, maybe? It was a, was a little rabbit, a little hair? I don't think so. Well, I hope not. Well, okay, right, you talk to the hair. Maybe it's it found some information, perhaps. Okay, Luby and Milsers, talk to it. Okay, talk to you. Okay, I will do my best. I'll do my best. Okay, let's have a little ch chatty to the head. Hello? Hello? Hello, little one. How are you? What? what? Now, I don't speak fluent hair, but I have a feeling it's trying to do... Oh, hello. Okay, that was his... What's that, sweetie? What's that? What's that? Oh, he wants me to touch my nose against his nose. Shall I do that? Okay, that's a little bit strange. Shall I touch my nose against his nose? Yes. Okay, right, I'll do that's fine. Okay, let's, let's do that. 
And uh, almost the hairs on the back of my hand are standing up. Uh, how very strange. Oh dear, the Paula is sadly allergic to uh, hairs and things. But I tell you what, I don't think it's an allergy. I don't think it is. Take it to Baba. We're not going to take it to Baba. The last thing we want to do is give it lovely. Okay, now, it'll do. I'm not kissing it. I'm sorry, touching noses was quite enough. I'm not kissing a hair. No, I'm not. I think Ruby wants me to. I'm not going to kiss it. But I think, I think it has given us some power. Some extra power. Okay, that's really good now. Let's see what is in the next room. You black out and wake to find yourself in a huge tree-lined nest. The sound of a large gong is rung and a golden armor-clad owl approaches you. This is Lord Kalyach, and he seems to be interested in you. Decide quickly. Do you bow and be very polite? Attack the owl? Treat it like an equal and talk to it? Or stand still and do nothing? It's me, we're getting so I think we're getting the animals help at the moment. Now, I did say that the big battle that happened four thousand years ago was against man, elves, and the dark fae. Now what I didn't say it was that the animals were trying to help us as well, but the Shadow King can if he goes powerful enough take over. Take over. Now the power I believe was was given by the hare, somebody had asked me. It is a magical power. It makes us stronger. Okay, maybe. Ah, okay. Do you want me to go and talk? Bow with the flair of a pirate captain. I do believe that is some doffing and hat waving involved in that. Okay, I do like the idea of that. Okay, we're going to do a bow and be very polite. Okay, we're going to bow. Do you all say be polite? Yes, okay, right. So we're going to bow and be very, very polite. Okay. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Right. Okay, well, it seems like I am going to be doing my most dramatic bowing and scraping. I hope you appreciate it. Hello, good day, Master Owl. Um, I do believe you are quite uh, powerful. Are you Lord Kalish? I shall go and bow yet. Okay, bow. <laughs> I am Lord Police. You must help us in our time of need. All the crows, the ravens, they have been taken. Even the sparrows are now in the command of the Shadow King. You must help us like you did all those years ago. I will give you my power to defeat him. Well, that's marvellous news. Marmot, thank you very much. Lord Kalish, oh, I will do my best. And I think I will have to have the help of all the people who are helping me behind the scenes. Ah, hello everyone, hello back. Okay, good. I hope that bowing was enough for you. But I have a horrible feeling we are now so close to the Shadow King, we must come up with some kind of action plan. Now, um... Good luck, everyone. Good luck, and let's see where this takes us. It all goes quiet in the woodland, and darkness crawls across the ground from every direction. A sense of dread fills your heart. And you can see the figure of this huge dark fey lord. The hollow sockets from his crow skull face stares deep into your soul. Will you fight the Shadow King? 
run away, try and hide, or bow down and worship it. Be very careful, everyone. Be very careful. It's not nice out there. The Shadow King is coming. I'm terrified. Oh. I know, I know. I'm quite terrified as well, Sebastian. Okay, now, uh, uh, right. Okay, now, it's down to you. It's down to you at home, sitting there. What should we do? We have some items here. We have, uh, remember, we have the album brew. We have the chain. We have the love, oh, the love potion's gone, Baba Yaga drink. We have the spell here. We have the orb with the, the power of the fey inside it, or the, or the will of the wisps. Okay, how should we use them? What should we do? How we can combine? How can we fight it? We do have some power, of course, that's been given us by the hare and the owl. Okay, but will that be enough? Okay, what should we do? What should we do? We must suddenly become an army. All right. Any ideas? Wear the armor. Okay, car, good idea. Okay, we're going to wear the armor. I don't know who suggested that. Yes, we are going to have to fight it. Lady T, we will have to fight it. Okay, I'll put the armor around here. Now with this, it will form an, like a shield around me. Now this hopefully will protect us against blows. However, is it using magical power? If so, what else can we do? What else can we do? Yes, Gemma, we will fight all of it! All of it, Gem! Oh, okay. Use your powers. Drink the owl potion. Okay, right now, what I'm going to do? Now, because the hare and the owl has given me extra power, I am going to transfer it to you. Now, I cannot do this directly. The only way I can do this is through liquid. Now, this energy here, all the liquid, it's going to transform into your liquid. If you have any drinks near you, any water, quickly grab some water. If you have anything, the teas, wines, ale, things like that, you must drink them now. Okay, after I've cast a spell, of course. Okay, when you drink them, it will give you the power. Okay, it will share my power. Okay, are you ready? Have you got a drink in your hand? Okay, drink your drink, drink your drink. Okay, can you feel the energy growing inside you? Good. Okay, that's wonderful. Now, uh, what else do we have? Not the love potion. Now we have this here. We have the orb. Yes, rum will be fine. Rum is perfect and very suitable as well, I do believe. Okay, Paula, not too much though. Right, not today. Right, so we have this here, and uh, we are going to utilize this, and we're going to have to try and release the power from it. And if we now we drank this, it will be ten times more powerful. But you must say these words. When our and the wonders, well, great idea. Well done, Jennifer. Okay, okay, right. Now, I'm going to use the wand. This will direct the power, but I need you at home. When I go through, you must say the words when I cast it. Light and bright, be gone the night. Now the words are light and bright, be gone the night. With those words, we shall hopefully do this together. Are you all ready? Yes, orange juice is fine. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Light and bright, be gone the night. Light and bright, everyone, be gone. The night, everyone together, light and bright, be gone the night, hurry everyone as loud as you can, light and bright, be gone the night! <gasps> this works! We've done it everyone, we've done it! Ah, you've all done it, congratulations! Ah! Well, amazing work, amazing teamwork. I'm so happy to have you along on this quest. I knew I could rely on you all. Oh, well done. Okay, well, I did so that run helped, didn't it? Indeed. Now, I am most impressed with you all. Well done, well done, well done. Jasmine, feel the power in her fingers. Okay, now, this is going to work well for you. Now you've actually had some of this power, this album power, you might find that people are a little bit excitable and have extra energy for at least another 10 years. But it'll wear off after that and they'll just sleep for a while and they'll be absolutely fine. 
Yes, indeed. You're well done. Okay, well done. Now, oh, right, we, yes, Red Feathers. Now, now, we have banished the Shadow King. Things will return to normal, and you'll be quite. Uh, hopefully, fine on your journeys now. Now, we do have other quests. Of course, we have other quests. I can take my hat off now. We have another quest that we are doing this Friday. This Friday, a whole new quest. And this one is even more dangerous, and it has wolves in it. It is called the Night of the Blood Wolf. Oh, indeed. Okay, now, that is going to be very exciting, and we're going to be doing something rather special tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is a Wednesday, and at 4.30, we're going to do a special pre-Friday show. So, we're going to have uh, storytelling. We're going to maybe have a little proper chat with some of you. Okay, so ask us questions. Uh, we're going to go back to the Wizard's Tower. So it's going to all look very different. Uh, and then uh, we're going to get ready and maybe do some special things which we're going to have revealed on Friday that only the Wednesday group will know about. Okay, I know this is going to be good. Now, on Friday, when we do the full adventure... Firstly, you must tell everyone. Secondly, make sure that you like this video, uh, share it out, tell everyone. It'll be on the page, okay, to so look out for it. Now, the best thing to do is write it down with your own hand on a piece of parchment, okay? Or put a reminder on anything where I will tell you. Okay, do not rely on this telling you automatically. Very important. And of course, if you've enjoyed the show and you're in a position to donate, we really appreciate it. We can make things better and better each time you come back. Um, well, now, anyone else who's just arrived and I want to say hello to anyone? A wolf indeed! Okay, now, who else would like to say hello to anyone? Um, I can say hello. Uh, my name, by the way, I didn't even introduce you, Professor Isamore, if you've forgotten. You can howl like a wolf. Ho-ho! Oh, tomorrow, incidentally, the character that we've chosen is a red cap. Now, a red cap, and the whole show is going to be about this mostly, most of it, is about, well, you've heard of Red Riding Hood. Now, Red Riding Hood was a red cap. She wore a red cape, but she could communicate with animals. Ah! Where it is going to be, where it's going to... Ooh. Okay, so, um, do come back and uh, tomorrow at 4.30, and we'll have a proper adventure with that. Well, not a proper, but a proper chat and a storytelling as well. Okay, and then Friday, don't forget! Okay, so, I'm going to leave you and bid you farewell, and thank you all so much for coming. Do send some photographs. We'd love to see people playing along. Uh, maybe doing the spells at the end. You can reenact it if you want. And I want to see some fantastic photographs from you guys. And um, and we'll see you tomorrow or Friday. Take care.